Yes, she is. Are you waiting for something else? Yes, you are. I know. I love you guys, too. I love you, too. The thought of him not having what Boca had, because we only found out about her by accident. She um, went to dart off into the yard one day to chase a squirrel and came back limping. So I took her in the next day to get her leg looked at. And um, Dr. Moore was just kind of doing a, an exam in the process and felt a tumor on her spleen. And it was, it was one week from the time we found out until the time we had to put her down. And so I, it was the worst. <laughs> um, and so I thought about him not having the love and support um, while she was that sick. Um, and it just kind of broke my heart. And, you know, I mean, if there's anything positive I can do from that experience with her, um, you know, I'd love to be able to pass it on because, you know, nobody deser deserves to die painfully and unloved. So, or, you know, in his case, um, had Paul's not rescued him, he would have been euthanized. So, I mean, it might be short, but it's going to be great. So, he'll come to school to drop my daughter off, and he sits in the front seat. Um, this morning we went to Dunkin' Donuts, he had a ham and cheese sandwich. Um, last week for lunch, after we'd pick up Sophie uh, chicken nuggets, he'd crush like 20 chicken nuggets. Uh, he actually knows when you're going through the drive-thru. It's hilarious. Home, he, he just follows me and he does, it's so sweet. I mean, you know, I'm in the kitchen, I have all three of them begging. By the way, this couch, when we moved in, was deemed not fit for kids and dogs. Clearly that's changed. Um, He's a good boy. He's a really good boy.